What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. In this video, I'm gonna be doing my 60 day review on the Soundcore Life Q35 headphones. Let's get started. The first thing I wanna start with is how comfortable these headphones are. And I really mentioned this from the first video because really when you first put them on, you can immediately tell with the, with the size of the ear cushion. Now, granted the size of the ear cushions makes the headphones a bit bulky, a bit big over your head, but personally, I don't care. I don't care how I look as long as I'm comfortable. And with these headphones, the ear cushions, it's just so comfortable and it's so nice. You know, it's made out of this memory foam. So it's just so nice to have around your head for hours at a time. Next, let's talk about controls and what I really used it with the most, what device I used it with the most. So the device that I used it with is the iPhone 12 Pro Max for the majority of the 60 days. And I didn't really get to use mostly because in my case, they're kind of annoying to remember what every single one does, especially when you're working out, you're focused on the music, and then it's difficult for you to know or remember, at least again, for me personally, that this button is the power button. And in fact, several times I pressed on this button right here, which is the pause and play button to increase the volume. So the controls aren't for everybody. I think certain people will like the controls, but for me, I didn't get good use out of them. If anything, there were extra space on the headphones. Of course, the only control that I used constantly was the power button. As far as the noise cancellation, I toggled that throughout the Soundcore app. So I didn't really need to use the controls on the headphones. Now let's move on and talk about the pros of these headphones and the features that made it really nice to own throughout the last 60 days. Starting with the high res audio, the sound quality for these headphones is really good, especially for headphones that cost $130. It's really, really good. And especially if you're the type of person that likes your music with a lot of bass, these headphones put a lot of emphasis on that. So keep that in mind for anybody that does like a little bit more beat to their music. These are great. Moving on to battery life. The battery life not only met my expectations, but it exceeded it. <clears throat> I would say that in the last 60 days, I really charged my headphones twice fully. And that is incredible to me. So a little bit of how I've been using the headphones. I put it on at 75% to 100% volume. I know, I like to listen to my music loud, so I don't know what to tell you. And, you know, as far as the type of mode I was using it in, I would say about 25 to 30% transparency mode, because I like to listen to what's going on around me sometimes. And the other 70% is active noise cancellation. So, Really, majority of the time, I am using it with the active noise cancellation, which sh should be draining the battery. And in those two months, I fully charged it from empty to full twice. So the battery life is another impressive feature for these headphones. The next feature I, would not, I wanna talk about and how well it works is the fast pairing feature. The fast pairing feature worked extremely well for me. Literally, if I am in the vicinity of the device that I wanna pair it with, and I paired it with that device previously, I don't even need to do anything else except hold down the power button until it fully powers on, and it automatically pairs with that device. So that's very good as well. Another thing I wanna mention with the pros as far as features, and this is not exclusive to the Soundcore Life Q35s, it's actually available in the Life Q30 headphones, is the Soundcore app. I love that app. I love the fact that I can go in, I can you know, change the equalizer, I can update my headphones, I can toggle to different listening modes. It is great, and I love that feature, and I wish more headphones would have this feature where you can control a lot of the aspects of the headphones from the application. So I do think with the Life Q30 and the Life Q35 headphones, the ability to control the headphones from the Soundcore app is a great, great pro. The final feature that I loved with these headphones is the touch for transparency feature. And it's so convenient, extremely convenient. 
because with other headphones, you have to find the noise cancellation button like I showed you previously with the controls. With this, you just take two fingers and you just tap it on the right ear cup and you can toggle between transparency and noise cancellation mode. So that makes your life, or at least for me, makes my life super easy when I'm working out, when I'm doing something wearing these headphones, I don't have to try to find the control physically on the, on the headphones. I can just tap and toggle for the noise cancellation or transparency mode. Now let's talk about features I didn't have the best experience with, starting off with the smart wearing detection. The smart wearing detection works all right, uh, I would say about 70% of the time. 30% of the time though, when you remove the headphones, you know, from your head, you put them down. Sometimes it works and then sometimes it stops for like a couple seconds. Like I think it's trying to recognize that you took it off your head, but it fails at the end. So after a couple of seconds of you taking it off, it pauses the music, but then it resumes the music again. So sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. Another thing I experienced with this feature is when I have my headphones fully on, both ear cups are over my ear, and I just take my right ear cup from the headphones and I just push it back slightly behind my ear, and I still have the left one on top of my ear. It detects that, that I remove the headphones, which I did partially, and sometimes it pauses the music when I do that, and sometimes the music plays completely fine. The final feature that I didn't have the best of time with is the AI noise reduction and the microphones for these headphones. So I had issues from both ends. When I receive a call, I can't hear the person that I am talking to. It's extremely low volume. Now, I tried a few things with this to, to fix this issue. I tried to reset it a few times. And I also tried to check to see if there's a firmware update. There wasn't. I did try to contact Anchor. They ran me through basic troubleshooting steps and we were able to kind of fix it at that time. And as far as the issue, it still occurs, but not as much as it used to. So sometimes when I do get a call, the person I'm listening to is crystal clear and it's great. And then there's other times that I get a call for some reason and the person I'm listening to, unless, you know, instead of me listening to them at this tone, like you're hearing me now, I'm listening to them like, Everybody, how's it going? Hope everybody's having a great day. You know, something like that where it's extremely lower than what it is and how it should be. And even when you try to increase the volume, nothing happens. Whether you're trying to increase the volume on your phone or the headphones, it does not do anything to it. Now, as far as the microphones themselves, when I'm talking to somebody, I did have a few background noises such as cars moving because I was working out outside as well as wind and when I asked the people that I spoke to can you hear me clearly they say not really there's still a lot of background noise but we can hear you good enough so as far as the AI noise reduction I think it works to an extent just not as well as it's supposed to. So this was my 60 day review of the Soundcore LifeQ35 headphones. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.